Right morning everyone. What a different let's lead we've got today. Look at that sun coming up. There was no frost when I left uh, home at White Hue in Letchley and Tim tells us there's a thin layer of ice on the lake. So I'm fishing with Paul today. What are you rigged up with to start now mate? I have a stalking leech size 6, 5.5mm tungsten nice. on the floater line Black. and a UV humongous snake on the... Nice, nice, nice. And I'm set up with the, I've got a white UV lure if you like, cat's whisker like, and on the indicator a white worm. Paul's got the dogs. I've got my little flask and a little bit of rope because last time the rope on the boat was all knotted and in pieces and Oh, I was in Alabama, so really, really looking forward to today. Tim said I can get the the disabled boat because there's no one. What watch the dog's legs? What he's wrapped round him, mate. There we are. I can get the disabled boat today. Well, it's a bit different than last week when we was here. Well, if you remember last week, that peg there was underwater. <laughs> What's that, mate? There's a fish. There's a fish. Paul's already spotted a fish. Wow, my fingertips are cold, mate. <laughs> so we've got a thin layer of ice. Remember last week, water was up this bank to about here. <laughs> frozen fish on the bank there. Uh. Lovely. We have got ice on Letchlade. <laughs> you don't see that very often. Well, I don't anyway. I'm sure sometimes it's frozen, but yeah. Last week, that stream was flooding over, wasn't it, last week? Look at that lovely son of a Bletchley. This was ankle deep in water. Right. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Look at the difference. This was over, water was over the top of you and it's about two foot below it now. Good gosh. Right, let's get this in here. That's ice on the floor. And we brought a spare bit of rope, like I say, because last time. Right. Right, well let's get uh, let's get going. Oh, I think we'll moor up on the house pool first because it's uh, not frozen guys. Okay. 
right guys we are going through ice how cold are my fingers gonna be today bloody hell they got cold just carrying my stainless flask down So we're heading for the house boy. It hasn't really fished at all all year or this bay's been quiet. But the problem is the top end is uh, mainly ice. <laughs> Someone's gone up there but uh, Paul's gone up on the bank. So we're gonna tie up and have a go by here guys. Right guys, I'm all tied up. I had to have a couple of little coffees because my, oh, my hands are cold. So, got the Dye 3 set up today, which is medium sink. And to start, I got your basic white UV, white marabou tail, strands of UV in it, ultraviolet, and my own white UV ultraviolet straggle. So, we should give it a go. I say this has been quiet. The rumour has it, they, I think they had to turn the pump off. There was so much water, not the pump, but they had to divert the stream from coming in here because there was, as you know, so much water you last week but I think it's back on now so hopefully I don't know but hopefully perhaps some of the fish might have come into the bay you never know We'll head up the top area, but well, hopefully, when it defrosts. Guys, I just took something. <laughs> it doesn't feel very trout like because it's a great big perch. <laughs> Look at that great big perch. Street. Try and get him out. <laughs> Look at that bad boy guys, I guess the biggest perch I've caught at Letchlade. Beauty! <laughs> On that white fly. Yeah. Pop him back. Well, I suppose it's a start. <laughs> Oh, 
The line is starting to freeze on the rod as well. You can feel it. There we are. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I caught a perch. I caught a fecking crayfish. <laughs> Not a sign of a trout. <laughs> Get off you fucker. I think this is a lobster, not a crayfish. Look at the size of that. Crayfish thermidor. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, let, let me know. I'm quite happy to come in. Let me. <laughs> Tiny blue flash damsel. <laughs> Change to the little tin head damsel. That tiny little dumbbell eyed one. Freddy thinks he brought me luck on the bank there. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later, mate. Oh, good head shake. much line off the deck or off the bank as possible. He's gone now. Oh, he's gone, is he? No, he's still there. Under there, go from under there. Mooring rope's not far from there. Engine shaft is not far from that one. Big perch, I've got a monster crayfish, now a big rainbow on a little blue flash down. So let's get this bad boy dispatched. I feel a bit relieved now to get one as well because it was a struggle. Let's get him dispatched. There we are, guys. My first of the day. A tiny, tiny little zero flash damsel. Wash him and show you now. That's a good one. That's a good one. So I had a perch, had a crayfish. Ronnie and Reggie, the cray. Look at that. Dumbs. Little black dumbbell eyes. Caught with the pressure on that. The hook is just starting to just open out a little bit. And resulted in a nice big rainbow. I'm happy with that now. I'm slightly relieved. <laughs> it's jog gone now. Ice stop play. Paul's found a little six foot hole in the uh, in the ice over there by the tree. 
and he's doing well catching branches I think <laughs> and it's completely frozen apart from the track where I went up there but it's so thick we have been offered a free ticket if we pull the pin by one o'clock it's 11 o'clock now and uh, yeah it's just a waste of time guys so uh, I think it could be an early lunch and we'll come back again so this will be part one of Martin Williams signing off part two coming soon right morning again everybody this is let's lead part two going back a couple of weeks ago Oh, hey. oh, look at the cat dragged in there's my top mate Luke Gator and uh, yeah so the going back a couple of weeks ago we had a frozen lake so uh, I had one fish we was done by 10 o'clock so uh, the guys here said yeah just pull the pin on it and uh, you can come back again so here we are we got a lovely day about two to four degrees at the moment lovely sun's gonna come up hopefully for a bit of stalking calm conditions wow so uh i'm looking forward to it and it's well it's nice to have a little strapper like uh luke here how are you doing bud good mate good what, what you got set up on me what you got you know because you've been fishing dry flies and yeah, silly I, things lately what have you got on there just leeches leeches stalking, all around stalking leech and uh pulling leech. pulling leech olive and black nothing new no oh, well i've got uh, i've got a i've been trying a new damsel there it is there I got a new damsel with a fluorescent green target spot on the body just under a hackle and I've got a fire tiger long cast on the floating line so didn't know what to put on the floater didn't know whether we're going to be didn't know whether we're going to be stalking or pulling so yeah I wasn't sure but a, a new damsel new style of damsel which I did use at Rockbourne and caught that spartic last week so uh yeah it's a fly i've neglected a bit over the years really but uh i am gonna start using it a bit more looks lovely doesn't it looks lovely Where's Paul? Paul's already down and he's, I can see him dispatching a fish already so we've got the wheelie boat So we'll get on the wheelie boot. We really will. There we are. So we can have a dabble on the boat first. It's a lovely day. Right, that's rigged up. So we're just waiting. We're just waiting for Luke. So on my intermediate line, guys. Okay, I'm riding on that new blue flash damsel. Yeah, blue flash in the tail look. There's a fluorescent green body under the hackle, so I'm giving that as a little target spot. So, uh, I'm just, just waiting for Luke, I don't know what he's doing. Right, guys, will we fish for an hour or so in front of the house? Not a bite. There was the odd fish moving. We tried little fly big fly snake flies indicators I tried the lot 
and we never had a bite. So I'm gonna have to change the fly for a heavier stalking bug now. And go from there. Nope. I just got off the boat. I thought I'll just have a slurp of coffee. Paul's in. Paul's had a few fish now, seeing fish, so that's why we thought well, we got to come off the boat now because uh, it was just no bites whatsoever. Mirage, you know, uh, yeah, the one you painted. Yeah, the one you painted. Yeah, the one you painted. Yeah. 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 But that's right, I've been walking around, I try for them for a bit, leave it alone. It, do you know what I mean? It's, that's what I like to do, you know, but I'll slow down for five, you jump in behind it like that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to leave my little flask of coffee on the table, so if you want, we'll help yourself, all right? It's only a little black coffee, but it's all right. Right. Well, like I'll try a golden orange because that's nice and bright, isn't it? I got a golden orange on a. Yeah. 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 Oh, a couple of nice fish already, and uh, see. Yeah, help yourself, mate. It's nice. Yeah, I got a couple of new flies for you to try as well, so. Well, I, I, I think it's the fact that, you know, non-strain, non-stretch lines have always had a little bit of an issue, haven't they? I think they're marvellous now compared to 30 years ago, you know? Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but when you look, like, like they charge in the same price as the Rio Golds and the, the Leeds, you, you, you would expect that more for your money, you wouldn't have. Yeah. You know, I certainly won't be buying another airflow line uh, for that money. Hmm. Which is a shame because. In the warm water, this line's brilliant. You, you know, in the summer, really it's nice and soft. Now, you know, it's almost like a slick cast line then. Yeah. There we are. Another nice fish for Paul. Knocking the knocking the ten pound bracket. Well done, mate. Well done, buddy. I fucking hate carrying two rods around me.
Right, so we're back on the bank now. I've changed to the old heavy copper and orange stalking bug. It's got a 4.5, 4.5 millimeter head, gold flashable tail. So there is a bit of color in the water. Not horrible, but sort of a bit of blind stalking. Sort of, yeah, you know. It's nice, stands out nice. Yeah, it's on the table up there, mate. The flask, okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. a bit murky the water Let's try the other side mate just in case. Of course it's a bit risky you now that dull peg in it. <laughs> Got him. Blind uh -huh. stalk in a heavy, heavy black leech for there, yeah. Blind stalk in a black and green leech. <laughs> Shot out from under the tree then. Red doing this one. Oh, he's dark, isn't he? Yeah, when he jumped out, I thought it was had a bit of a brown, but uh, well, it's always nice to get one in the bag, mate. Isn't it? On a bloody, it's a, it's a bloody ball buster for me this year, mate. It's good to get one. <laughs> oh, here we are, a blind stalk rainbow. Let's dispatch him. There was fish coming up, not a lot, but they, so you knew your fly was going past fish, yeah. knew it. Luke put an indicator on every second, don't you? Must have been a shoal of roach or little perch every time he was on a little blood room. Yeah. <laughs> Go and have a look now, sir. 
there we are guys a heavy oh yeah heavy black leech first fish on a black leech size six big green head and a lead body lots of weight to get down and work as i jig it back and my first of the day Whew, thank god for that <laughs> let's try and get another but guys, we're having a bit of uh, lunch here. We've got mulligatori, spicy sausage roll, scotch egg, but without the egg for me, can't do a egg there. Paul's tucking in. Well, we got some Stella. Luke's got some. Well, we got a bit of everything there as well. They're lush, isn't they? Sausage know. rolls, yep. It's been a tough morning. We fished the house pool, me and Luke, for an hour or so. More than that, never had a bite. Never had a bite. Tried the lot. Paul stalked three off the bank this high bank this fish going back and forth first one's in the bay and there. the first one over in what we call brown bay over there the little bay this fish moving i managed to have one on the out of bounds peg on a heavy black leech stalking pattern boys have gone back out now look that i believe they were the guys who were here yesterday and they had some you know big browns and fish in the afternoon but they said it switched on in the afternoon so yeah we'll we'll give it a go we'll give it a go Fingers crossed. Are these fish going to come on the feed? There's fish moving. Fish moving around, but... They are just not following, feeding. Just a wow. long cast with the golden green stalker. I did see, did see a fish move. Seemed a big fish as well, guys. Coming right into the bank here. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah! Rainbow. A bow! Oh, yeah! Felt a good one! The loop might do the uh, honours for me. There you go. What a good man he is. Well, oh, Cheers, bird. Thanks, mate. Stalked or pulling? Just chucked it out, pulling a fish. Moved. I chucked it ten oh, yards. Well, that's a chunky one, isn't it? On a gold. Golden there we are on a golden green. Let's get him dispatched a sec. Oh. 
Right. There we go. Hello, beautiful. Wait a minute now. Come by here because there's a fly hook. No, you don't want to lick the fly. Wait a minute now, you silly dog. Wait a minute. There we are, guys. Oh. Nice. Chunky rainbow. On a green and gold. Or a gold and green. Things were getting pretty desperate, guys. You know, it's tough. Tough, tough, tough. There we are, guys. Four and a half mil tungsten again. Look, but a green lacquered body. Oh, and a nice chunky rainbow. Good. Get him on a string up. Slide that down. Job done, guys. Getting back in the water. Okay, that's two, but it's tough. It's tough. Paul's in across there. We think it's a brown. Well, the fish that were in the margins around here uh, have disappeared. Brown? Or a fish there, then oh, he's playing tricks on me, no doubt. Paul gets this brown in. Is it a good one? Yeah, nice one. Yeah, Luke second. Yeah. And I think that's a good time, Luke. What do you reckon to um, pull the pin? Oh, you got. <laughs> Well there we are guys, been another ball buster, but I've had another two, one chunky one and one not bad. So I think this is probably a good time to say, two more fish at Letchley and Martin Williams signing off. <laughs>